Okay, guys, so I got a new clutch, which is going to go on a new axle. But I have the problem that this gear comes too far out from this and this and its original original uh, position where I had cut this down so the one I had would be further in so that this chain could go on here without hitting this well now this is going to be for, fully out and what we're going to do is have one gear on both sides is used to elevate gears further out because this one's going to get cut along these lines and we'll have more spots drilled into this one and this one so this gear can be elevated outwards to about here and be in line with that gear while still not being interfered with by this so that I can run a chain across there and use the bigger clutch. And for the other side of this engine, instead of having one of the built-in clutches right here, what I'm going to be doing is taking one of these jack shaft gears. I'm going to cut off half of this. And I'm going to weld it to the centerpiece of one of these clutches that will connect to that axle so that then I'll be able to tighten this gear down like so to the engine over here and run a chain straight over to another one of the gears over here. Now this gear won't be able to be used and I'm going to be changing from a TAF chain to a um, standard one speed or probably a 420 if I can manage to fit it in there I don't know this one has to run a 420 though because of this rocket size um, but essentially it's going to be a one to one ratio from here to here so I bypass this clutch and I can use a higher torque higher uh, power output clutch to drive this whole system and hopefully this will full this this will fix my transmission problems because I used to burn these real fast and they wouldn't last long and I also couldn't do much with them because the the bike's weight on its own was already at its limit, so me riding it even would be too much for it. So I'm hoping that with this new clutch, I'll be able to use the motor better. I also went ahead and made a wind cover for it, so as to give it a more better airflow from the fan into there. And it also makes it look a bit better. So I'm going to step outside. I'm going to cut these gears up. And I'll be right back. I burnt my glove. Put the hole right in there. Alright. We got this gear. Now we just need to do the other one, so there's my cotton.
Okay, so this is the other gear, which will be put roughly half an inch away from this to be in line with this. So it'll be attached to the other gear right here, the solid one, via the holes, and I'm going to drill out some more so that it can be better secured, but the reason it's got that space in the middle to have a cutouts for the back spin so that the chain can move the whole engine can move the whole thing without moving the pedals so this was to go around that problem I'm gonna have to bore out these holes on all of these for bigger bolts um, and then I'm going to probably bore out some more, but then the inside gear will be easy because that's going to just be stacking one next to another with some washers between. There's going to be a lot of washers and bolts to this, but this will be a lot more sturdy than the other one. So now, because I can't find a uh, drill that works, I just put this on, a, one of the, on a screwdriver, a stepping drill, whatever you call it, so I can bore these out. So I don't fit the bolts until I do so for this gear. I got some petroleum jelly over here and some paper towels. Yeah, I'm just putting it down in there and I'm just twisting real hard. Kind of sucks, but if you get your job done. I will not go through the effort of recording this. I am sorry guys, I have not uploaded in a while, but I hit a snag with the, um, the motorbike. And I'm also having some um, system issues. So right now I'm falling back on in my free time just sewing and brewing. But um, it's also cold enough I might get back to tattooing because I got some stuff to work on on myself. But um, it's going to be a minute before I get back to work on the um, transmission for the bike. I may be able still, well I should still be able to work on the um, velocity stack for it. But that's its own thing, so uh, I guess I'll see you guys around.